Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo ang operations on sets. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang operations on sets. So by the way, meron na akong previous video about Introduction to set. So, kung hindi nyo pa yung napapanood, isinilink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. Kasi lahat ng mga natutunan natin concepts doon is i-apply din natin dito. Okay? So, ngayon, pumunta tayo sa operations on sets. So, meron tayong iba't ibang operations sa sets like intersection, union, and subtraction. So, isaysay natin yun dito. So, mag-start tayo sa intersection of sets. So, sabi, if we have two sets A and B, then the intersection of A and B is a set of elements that are members of both A and B. The notation for A intersection B is this one. Okay, so pag sinabi natin intersection of sets, ito yung mga elements na common pareho doon sa dalawang sets. So, limbawa, meron tayong set A with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and set B with elements 2, 4, 6, 8. So, hanapin daw natin yung intersection ng A at B. Okay, so para magawa yun, Hanapin natin yung common dito sa elements itong sets A at B. So, ang mga common sa kanila is itong 2, ano pa, itong 4, at itong 6. So, therefore, ito yung intersection ng set A and B. 2, 4, 6. Okay? Next, we have given set A with elements 2, 4, 6, and so on, and set B with elements 1, 3, 5, and so on, find intersection of set A and B. So, mapapansin nyo itong set A natin, yung elements niya is set of positive even integers, right? Kasi 2, 4, 6, and so on. While itong set B naman is set of positive add integers, kasi 1, 3, 5, and so on. So, pag hinanap natin yung common sa dalawang set na to, Obviously, wala. Kasi magkasalungat sila eh. Yung A even, yung B add. So, therefore, pwede nating sabihin na intersection nitong A at B is null set or empty set. Okay? Wala silang intersection. So, meron tayong tinatawag na term kapag yung dalawang sets natin is walang intersection. So, sabi, note, two sets whose intersection is the empty set are called disjoint set. So, tinatawag natin silang disjoint set. So, therefore, itong set A at set B ay disjoint sets kasi wala silang intersection. Okay? Next, for 3, given universal set U equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, set A equal to 1, 2, 3, and set B equal to 1, 3, 4, find A intersection B prime. Okay, so apply natin dito yung concept ng universal set at prime. Asa dito sa intersection nitong A at B. So, hanapin muna natin yung intersection nitong A tsaka B bago natin hanapin yung prime niya. So, A intersection B is equal to... So, titingin tayo dito sa elements nitong set A at B. So, ano yung common sa kanila? Itong 1, right? Ano pa? Itong 3. So, wala na. So, ito yung intersection ni A at B. 1, 3. Pero, hanapin pa natin yung prime. Kasi, naka-enclose sa parenthesis and then naka-prime. Pag sinabi natin prime or complement, basa sa previous video ko, hahanapin natin doon sa universal set yung mga elements na wala dito sa A intersection B. So, kaya given tayo ng universal set yun na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, pag hinanap natin ngayon yung A intersection B prime, so, ang elements natin na nakuha is 1, 3. So, iti-check natin ngayon dito sa universal set kung ano yung meron yung universal set na wala sa A intersection B. So, obviously, itong 2, 4, 5. Kasi nga meron siyang 1 na 3. So, yung wala nga lang is 2, 4, 5. So, therefore, ito yung A intersection B prime. 2, 4, 5. Okay? So, let's now have the union of sets. So, sabi, if we have two sets, A and B, then the union of A and B is a set of elements that are members of A, or members of B, or members of both A and B. The notation for A intersection B is this symbol. Okay? So, pag sinabi naman natin union of sets, pagsasamahin lang natin yung mga elements ng dalawang sets. So, halimbawa, Given set A with elements A, E, I, O, U and set B with elements A, B, C, D, E, find A union B. Okay, so from the definition, pagsasama-samayin lang natin yung mga elements nitong A at B. 
So, kung meron silang common, isusulat lang natin yon as one element sa union nila. So, halimbawa, itong A, para silang meron, right? Pero, isang basis lang natin isusulat. Likewise, itong E, para rin silang meron. Isang basis lang natin isusulat. Yung I, isa lang naman, wala si B nun, A lang, so, I. And then, O, A lang meron. And then, U, A lang din meron. And then, yung mga unique naman din sa B, which is itong B, C, D. So, B, C, D. So, therefore, ito yung A union B. Sa pagsasamayin lang natin yung mga elements ng dalawang sets. Okay? Next, given set A equal to 2, 4, 6, and so on, and set B equal to 1, 3, 5, and so on, find A union B. Okay. So, pagsasamayin lang natin. So, mamansin nyo itong example natin sa intersection, right? Kasi yung A is even. Yung B is add. So, pag pinagsama natin sila, makakabuo tayo ng set of natural numbers, right? So, ibig sabihin, ang A union B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Pinagsama-sama natin lahat ng elements nila. Okay? Next, for 3, given universal set, with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and set A equal to 1, 3, 5, set B equal to 3, 4, 5, find A, A prime, union, B prime, and B, A union, B prime. Okay, dito muna tayo sa A. So, mapapansin nyo, kailangan natin hanapin yung A prime tsaka B prime bago natin sila i-union, right? So, hanapin muna natin si A prime. So, yung A prime, hanapin natin sa universal set yung wala dito sa A. So, dahil universal set natin is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, tapos A is 1, 3, 5, ang wala sa kanya is, ano, 2, tsaka 4. Okay, yun yung A prime. Then, si B prime din. So, napin natin sa universal set yung wala sa B prime. So, sa B, meron tayong 3, 4, 5. So, therefore, ang nasa universal set na wala siya is 1 and 2. Okay. Ngayon, dito tayo magbabase sa pag-union. I-union ngayon natin yung mga elements na nakuha natin sa A prime at B prime. Sa so, pagsasama-samay natin to. So, 1, itong 2, sulat lang natin as 1, and then 4. So, therefore, ito yung A prime, union B prime. 1, 2, 4. Next, for B naman, we have A union B prime. So, hanapin muna natin yung A union B. Sa so, pagsasama-samay natin yung elements ni A at B. So, 1, 3, 4, and 5. And then, tsaka natin na hanapin yung A union B prime. So, magbabase tayo sa universal set. Hanapin natin yung meron sa U na wala sa A union B. So, ano-ano yon So, meron siyang 1, 3, 4, 5, right? So, ano lang meron sa U na wala siya? E di itong 2 lang, right? So, therefore, A union B prime is 2. Okay. Next, let's have the difference of sets. So, sabi, if A and B are two sets, then their difference is given by A minus B or B minus A. Where A minus B means elements of A that are not the elements of B, and B minus A means elements of B that are not the elements of A. So, yung sabi ng difference of two sets denoted by A minus B or B minus A is, Kung meron tayong A minus B, hahanapin natin yung elements ng A na wala sa B. At kung meron naman tayong B minus A, elements ng B na wala sa A. So, hindi sila commutative. So, magkaiba yung meaning ng A minus B sa B minus A. So, take note daw that if A and B are disjoint sets, then A minus B is equal to A and B minus A is equal to B. So, kapag disjoint sets, base din sa definition natin kanina, wala silang intersection. So, kaya... Kapag sinubtract mo yung A minus B is equal pa rin siya sa A. Kasi diba sa definition ng A minus B, elements of A that are not the elements of B. As since wala nga silang common, therefore, A pa rin yung magiging sagot natin. Right? Likewise, itong B minus A equal B. Okay? So, as an example, meron tayong given universal set U, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, set A equal to 2, 3, 4, and set B equal to 4, 5, 6. So, hanapin natin yung A, A minus B, B, B minus A, and C, A minus B prime. So, dito muna tayo sa A minus B. So, from the definition, A minus B is elements ng A na wala sa B. So, compare natin dito yung mga elements ng A at B. So, ano yung meron si A na wala si B? So, obviously, common nila is 4, right? So, hindi pwede yun. So, pipiliin lang natin yung meron sa A na wala sa B. 
which is itong 2 tsaka 3, right? So, therefore, A minus B is 2 and 3. Okay? Paano naman si B? B minus A. Ibig sabihin naman, elements na meron si B na wala si A. So, compare uli natin. So, same pa rin ng common sa kanila is 4. This time, check naman natin kung anong meron si B na wala si A. Itong 5 at 6, right? So, therefore, B minus A is 5 and 6. Okay? Now, for C, A minus B prime. So, nakuha na natin yung element nitong A minus B, right? Ano yon? Etong 2 and 3. Ngayon, naka prime siya. So, hanapin natin sa universal set kung anong elements meron yung universal set na wala si A minus B. So, dahil 2, 3 yung A minus B, ang wala sa kanya sa universal set is 1, 4, 5, 6. So, therefore, A minus B prime is 1, 4, 5, 6. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, Operations on Sets. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.